The second week of early voting is underway and nearly 3 million Floridians have already cast a ballot. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean has a look at each party's campaign efforts heading into the last full week before Election Day. We're entering the final push before Election Day and so far more Republicans than Democrats have voted early. But overall, election officials tell me that voter turnout is low. Only a week into early voting, data from the Florida Division of Elections shows nearly 2 million Floridians have voted by mail. Now our early voting turnout is roughly a third of where we would expect it to be. The data shows over 860,000 have participated in early voting. And Supervisor of Elections President Mark Early speculated about the cause of lower voter turnout. Uh, maybe some folks think thinks it's a foregone conclusion on who's going to win certain races. Republicans are trailing closely on mail-in ballots, but Democrats still hold a tight lead. The Democratic Party is not leaving any stone unturned when it comes to getting out the vote and trying to get the voters to the polls. For months, Republicans have pointed at precedent that the party in power typically loses seats. Yet both sides have actually mailed in the same number, which shows, which is not normal and says to me that there's real enthusiasm among Republicans or real lack of enthusiasm among Democrats or both. This is grim news for Democrats who are fighting uphill against Republican control in both chambers of the legislature. If that happens, the Democratic Party is going to have to do a really nuts and bolts deep dive into why, what can we do to make sure that we don't repeat the same mistakes in 2024. Democrats have a small window to catch up, but a high GOP turnout on Election Day is still likely. You know, there's eight days before the election. There's a lot of time for things to change, but only if people get out and make a difference by voting. Candidates for both parties' campaigns are in full swing, and tomorrow, President Biden will make a trip to Florida to campaign for Charlie Crist, who's running to replace Governor Ron DeSantis. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Libby Dean. Aid on your side.